All right, so this is the introductory lecture of, on separation axioms. Okay, so, so far we have dealt with Hausdorff spaces, right? So you can separate two points by an open set, right? So today we're gonna <coughs> focus on stronger forms of separations. So first we have to assume that one point sets are closed in X. Okay, so we need this assumption first. So a space is said to be regular if for each point X and closed set B, such that they're disjoint, then we have a disjoint open sets contains X and B. And something even stronger is that for normal spaces is that can be any disjoint closed sets A and B. There exists disjoint open sets containing A and B. So here's a diagram. Right, Hallsworth, you have this. But regular, you have point X and a close set B, you have a, a neighborhood contains them. And for normal spaces, we have two closed sets, and we, again, we have a open sets containing them. And note that normal implies regular implies Hallsdorf. Right? I believe this is uh, because one point, one point sets are closed, so normal implies regular. And again, right, we just make, uh, again, one point sensor closed, so regular implies Hausdorff. Okay? So I think this is really clear. So here are some formulations of uh, uh, regular sets. So equivalence formulation. So X is topological space and one point sets are closed. So X is regular if and only if given point X in the neighborhood U, it is a neighborhood V such that the closure is in U. And space is normal if and only if given a closed set A and set U contain A, then over set V contain A such that V bar is in U. Okay, so <clears throat> just formulations of um, those and no regular and normal spaces. Okay, so like shall we prove it? Mm, okay, so for this direction. Now, x is regular, right? And we're given point x in neighborhood u given, okay? Given neighborhood u. Okay, so, well, if we just let b is x minus u, is a closed set, right? Closed and X not in B, right? Well, which means that there exists V, W, disjoint neighborhood of X and B, right? And we have that V bar intersect V is empty. So why? Because for any Y in B, Y is in W, right? For any Y in B, Y is in W because W is the neighborhood of B. So it contains B. Or Y is in W. But W intersect V is empty set right which means that B intersects V is empty set okay honestly <coughs> uh, we can just say that because B is a subset of W right and W intersect V gives you empty, so B intersect V gives you empty, right? So, for any W and B, we have W is in W, uh, Y is in W, but Not uh, Y is in W, but 
uh, W intersects um, V is empty, which means that Y is not in the closure of V. Right? You're not in closure of V because you have a neighborhood W such that is disjoint with V. Okay? So, which means that we have V bar and it's like V is equal to empty set. Close, we have this joint neighborhood X and B. Okay. It's regular. Regular means that for any X and neighborhood U, we have a set. We have a neighborhood V, neighborhood of X, such that V bar and it's like B is empty. But we require that it's in neighborhood W. Uh, is in the neighborhood u but b is equal to x minus u right so if you understand b is empty then you must be in u right v bar is in u okay so we're done okay so for let's move on move on to converse well now we know that if we're given x and v closed, we let u equals to x minus b, right? We know that then there is v neighborhood of x such that v bar contains in u but since we have u is x minus b right and v bar is in x minus b right so if we have x so if x is not in x minus b then x is not in closure of v right but this is equivalent to x and b then x and x minus v right but x minus v is open right and we know that v is subset of v bar so v intersects x minus v bar is empty so we're done right because here we have <coughs> um a neighborhood a neighborhood v of x and um and b is in this and this is open right and they're disjoint sorry good all right so so we have proven a but notice that for b you just replace x by a and and change right so we're done because because <clears throat> here for regular spaces is a point x but for normal spaces a close at a okay so if we just replace x i mean if we just play a x by a Right, something like this, and everything is just unchanged. And you can just you could just go through it, but I won't. Okay, and here we move on to the next thing, uh, which is a subspace of a Hausdorff space is Hausdorff, and product of Hausdorff space is Hausdorff. And for part A, I will skip because I think I mentioned about this previously, and the proof is not that hard, so. I will just only prove part B, okay? And part B 
it's about part B, it is about regular space. So subset of regular is regular product, regular is regular. So we let, so sorry, we let y subspace of x then what one point set sets closed and y right because hey okay. so if y point sets are closed and y now just consider x b the combination right x b now b closed b is closed and y right so we have b bar and say y is b but b bar is closure of b and x okay Right? But X is not in B. So X is also not in B bar. Because X is in Y. X is not in B. You're in Y. If you're in B bar, then you're in B. So you're not in B bar. So here we use... We use... We use the regularity of x. We use the regularity of x. We have that on x and b bar and x. So we have a v and so we never had u and v such that it gives you empty intersection. <coughs> then u intersect v and both open and y and also we know that x is in u intersect y right x is in u intersect y v bar is in V, right? We have V bar, neighborhood V bar of V. V bar of V, which means that is in V intersect Y, right? So we have that their neighborhood and this is neighborhood, <coughs> which shows that Y is regular. Okay, so the subspace is regular. And to show the product, to show the product, we that x alpha family of regular spaces. And we define x to be the product topology. Right? Now, by A, product of Hausdorff space is Hausdorff. Right? X, Hausdorff. Which means that we can just copy above. Oh, sorry. Um, which means that one point sets closed in X we use above lemma to show X is regular okay so we let X Okay, you know what? Um, 
we let okay you know what I just let x not is equal to a point x alpha is a point in the space x okay and u is a neighborhood of x not okay if u is a neighborhood of x not so we want to show that we want to show that when you are u we found another neighborhood of v such that its closure is contained in u okay so then sh we show that x is regular but if u is neighborhood of x then we can pick the basis contains contains and u okay so now things get easier for each for each for each alpha we can choose axiom of choice we can choose v this is in u this such that v this neighborhood of x alpha and big x alpha okay so we have this right because um it's a family of regular spaces so each of them is regular right all right so now if if u alpha is equal to x alpha then we just let v alpha equals to x alpha doesn't really matter right well you might say that um well v what is what is the closure of x alpha right the closure closure of x alpha is set of all closed set and x alpha contains x alpha right but in general it might be empty might be empty right because if you're connected if you're connected then x then this itself right if you're connected because the only closed and open sets in are itself Oh sh yeah, true. Yeah, x closure alpha is just equals to x alpha, right? Because, um, because x alpha is closed, right? Okay, forget about the connectedness thing. The connectedness means that the only sets that are open and closed are the space and the empty set. Okay, so we're, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Then V V alpha neighborhood of X naught. And we previously shown that we have this E equality. Okay. Which means that V bar U alpha subset of U. So as desired. Okay, so this is the introductory lecture on the separation axiom. We introduced the notion of regular space and normal space. All right, see you guys next time.